Hello YouTubers, welcome to episode 6 of John McLeod Speaks to the Internet, my Q&A series designed to um, interact and be daft. Um, the last episode I did, which was episode 5 of course, um, was two weeks ago because I went on holiday with my family and um, I rather forgot that... Uh, I wouldn't have a chance to do this. So, uh, silly man that I am, uh, there was intervening talk in that sort of fortnight of me wearing a hat, maybe for the last episode. Uh, I went for this hat, because I like this hat. Uh, I won't be wearing it for the whole thing, I will warn you now. So just sort of, if I just do a few coquettish looks to camera, like this. So you've all got it in your mind. Uh, and now I shall take it off because over my, the course of my holiday I had a haircut that I'm rather pleased with. So I've had a trim and I look all special and dapper for the last one. So again, you know, just a few. There we go. Um, back of the head. So covering all angles. Um, so it's been a, a rather pleasant a uh, week or two where I stopped and um, put my feet up. I've done a bit of swimming, done a bit of badminton, entertained my little eight month old nephew and uh, in return he gave me and my family a stinking cold for a day. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty much over mine now. Yesterday I wasn't too good. Um, so my parents are struck down with it too. So send them your well wishes. Uh, so, right, I've talked enough. This uh, is, as I say, the last episode. So it's time to get your final questions underway. So let's rock on. I do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, actually, guitar is about the second instrument I started playing. The first instrument... I took an interest in was drums. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yes, I started the drums. I played drums for about three or four years, um, and about part way into that, probably about two years into that, maybe, um, I started guitar. And um, I had a really nice, uh, reasonable drum kit that I used to play along uh, Fleetwood Mac and things too um, I ended up having to sell it which was horrible I'd had the skins replaced to really nice Remo skins with uh, kind of like an oily coating in between the layers and I'd had some really nice symbols uh, paste if I remember rightly um, and I sold it um, because space in my parents house was needed and I wanted to make demos quite quickly and um, reasonably uh, and I ended up getting this which is um, a really good sort of programmable drum machine um, and pretty much all the demos that I have on my websites use this uh, it can be as I say programmed quite cleverly and you know it's done properly and it does it it's you can't see the join um, I also play bass, which you can also hear on my recordings. Um, the bass playing is generally mine. Um, I think if there's one instrument that I wish I could play, it's um, piano. I air piano to a lot of things, but um, songs like Selfless, Cold and Composed by Ben Folds 5 make me wish, really do make me wish I could play piano. Ah, if there's one song that always puts a spring in my step and makes me sort of dance because it's really just a series of very odd jerky movements um, often when I'm walking um, but if there's one song that does any of that it's uh, Come Over by Kathy Davy it is such a groovy song. It's one of the grooviest 
songs I can think of off the top of my head. Um, it gets it gets me every single time I hear it, uh, and it often turns off on my earphone. So I'll be walking through the town and um, bobbing up and down in whatever shop I'm in, maybe. Um, and yeah, it does tend to end up with me sort of humming it at the top of my voice. Earphones are a devil for that. Um, I walk quite a lot, and I walk quite a lot with my earphones in, and uh, I tend to vocalise quite a bit. Um, yes, I can't put into words quite what sort of dancing it turns into. It's, it's sort of funky steps and stuff, but I'm, I'm really quite a terrible mover. <laughs> In all honesty, the, the single best thing about this, about me doing this, <clears throat> has been you guys. The questions that you've sent in, um, some of them have been really interesting musically and some of them have just been a lot of fun to answer. Um, and your enthusiasm and support uh has has just meant that i've been able to communicate what i do uh that click was my thumb <laughs> um yeah i've been able to communicate what i do with people who are really interested to know and curious and have have, have just thought of really wonderful ways to interact with this and I can't wait for it to come back and I can't wait for it to carry on. I'm really glad I'm taking this break because I'm going to spend a few weeks now recording demos and messing around with that. But having you guys talk and um, ask me stuff that I've been over the moon to answer, it's just, been, it's just made me really, really happy. And uh, the best thing is, is you folk. You're amazing. I love you. Wow, the end of episode six. That's I can quite happily say I've completed a series now. Um, so yes, we 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 will meet again. I would say around about I go for November. I'd like to see if we can do these through Christmas. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Christmas. Um, I could legitimately wear a Santa hat. Um, I will still be appearing on YouTube and posting things, um, but as I say, it'll be nice to have that break where I'm not asking you for questions every week, you're not getting badgered by me every week, and I don't resent my entire weekend being taken up with uploading this. Uh, so it's it's just as much for my well-being as it is yours that I'm not doing these every week. Um, but I'm glad you're enjoying them, and I, it, it'll make it all the more fun when I do start it again. So we'll aim for October. Um, so my fond farewell for John Cloud Speaks to the Internet this week will be taken up by a song called The Tallest Tree, uh, which is a song about how well, how much your support means and how much it, I feel I can do when I have your support because it means a lot and um, and it's also it kind of references the gig I had at the Arctic Theatre in Bromsgrove as well so uh, with that in mind thank you very much thank you so much for watching it's the best thing ever and uh, you take care and I'll see you soon cheerio <laughs> Someone lost 
lonely and unsure Finding paths to go searching for Holding on to my nerve Optimism is primary for a troubadour such as me I'll keep climbing the tallest tree to see how far I get and I'm alone and not alone full of blood but I Of me.